Well, I started uh, taking uh, photos when I was probably about six years old. Um, it was something my dad did as reference material for his artwork. Uh, probably my favorite aspect of photography is uh, finding the subject. I like uh, wildlife uh, photography and uh, landscape photography, uh, so it, it takes you to some interesting places. I started noticing that I couldn't read music. I thought it was just uh, my, I needed a new prescription for glasses at first, but then it turned out that it uh, was something uh, a bit of a bigger issue. When I start, started noticing symptoms, it was fairly gradual, and then it sort of went downhill really quite rapidly. The, the doctors weren't sure what it was for a while, and it was, it was, uh, kind of, it was quite worrying, just because I didn't know if I was going to go completely blind or what was happening. I was uh, diagnosed with the Leber's optic neuropathy. There was sort of a gray patch that was sort of fuzzy in the middle of my vision, where it started out I could sort of see through it, and then it just sort of went and I couldn't, it was just sort of a neutral gray patch, um, which was, um, uh, it was quite worrying, um, a bit scary. What I see now is, I don't really notice this gray patch. It sort of moved off, off to the side of my vision as well. Sort of things are, look a little washed out. It's kind of hard sort of having to learn how to do things a bit differently. And then there's some things I just sort of have to get, let go and it was a bit tricky getting used to that. Well, I think it was a big struggle for them. They, it was kind of shocking. I don't think they, ex they wouldn't really expect something like this to happen. And I think it was hard for them because they, they didn't know what was gonna happen to me either. I think they, they probably worried more than I did. While this was all happening, I stopped uh, doing my artwork for a while. It was just sort of, I was sort of occupied with other things. I wasn't really paying much attention to it. That, that su the summer after, I was sort of getting back into it a bit more, and um, I'm still continuing doing that now. So, like, a lot of work to keep going. Like, just, like, I didn't want to stop doing the stuff I was doing, but it took a lot more effort to do a lot of stuff. My, since my dad's a painter, he's always been supported by uh, me doing photography and painting as well. Well, I think he probably wanted to, like, to see me uh, still continue with my photography. Oh, this told me, why don't, oh, why don't you bring a camera out on the walk or whatever. And just sort of was interested in what I was taking pictures of and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I usually play a few times, uh, probably th four or five times a week. <laughs> favorite time um, I was taking pictures was I, I camped up on a top of a mountain overnight. It was like a perfectly clear morning and we saw the sunrise and it was just spectacular. With uh, photography I sort of had to look at the bigger picture and now I found that I don't have to do that, make everything perfect. The, sort of I get the general shapes of everything. It's something I really enjoy and it's not something I want to let go of and it's something I, I believe I still can do. I don't see a reason why to st stop it. I don't like to uh, let uh, my vision loss get in the way of what the activities I like to do. So.